Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-renovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can install Jenkins on Docker or I would say Jenkins as a Docker container. Okay. So till now, if you have seen my previous videos, then uh, you must have noticed I'm running as of now Jenkins as a var file or we can run as the exe file, right? But now suppose I have to install Jenkins, uh, maybe you have to set up everything from the scratch on a new machine. Then instead of going through, uh, you know, separate process where you will install first Java, then Jenkins, you can install Docker and you can install Jenkins as a Docker container. So automatically it will download the first Java and it will do the setup and then it will install Jenkins for you. So Docker makes things easy as we have seen earlier. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Instead of going through the same process, then installing all the dependencies, we'll just run our Jenkins image and Docker will install everything for us. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to discuss how to import jobs from the separate Jenkins instance and how to uh, export and many other things, right? So definitely I will, be, I will be needing multiple instances. So this is exactly it will help me. But in case if you don't want to maintain multiple Jenkins instance, you can stick to one instance. Okay. Now, uh, before we start, we will need Docker basically on the system. So in case if you don't have uh, Docker install then make sure you have Docker first in your system. I have a dedicated playlist on my channel where we have discussed how to install Docker. So just you can follow that particular. Yes, you can see Selenium and Docker. In this series, I have uh, mentioned how you can install Docker first of all in the windows and how you can configure it. So before you continue this, make sure you have Doc Docker installed in your system. So right now I'm using windows. It doesn't matter whether you're using windows, Mac or Linux the commands or uh, the Jenkins image that I'm going to run will remain same. Okay, so this is my command prompt. Uh, let me first of all check the Docker, which uh, which version of Docker I have. I will just type Docker space hyphen hyphen version. So at the time of recording, I have Docker version 19.03.8. So I will clear this. Now I'll just type uh, download Jenkins Docker image. Okay. And you can see the first link, click on the first link and we will be navigating to hub.docker.com followed by some URL. Now, one thing that you have to notice guys, very important part deprecation notice. So thus this particular documentation says that the image that is displayed here is, has been deprecated over two years. So we have to use the latest one. Okay. So just open this link and now you will be navigating to a separate link. We have to basically use this. So as you can see, Jenkins is fully uh, functional Jenkins server based on weekly and LTS releases. So that's a very important point here that in case if you want to go with the latest LTS, you have to use uh, this particular image followed with this tag. And if you want to go with the weekly release, Okay, this is your Jenkins image followed by JDK 11 tag, fine. And now the main important link is this link, read documentation for usage. And now we'll follow this instruction. So basically the older, uh, you know, Jenkins image is deprecated. So make sure you use the latest one, fine. Now, if you try reading this same document, but yes, now this is the main command that we have to run. So if you use this command docker run, so first of all, it will pull the image if it is not available and then it will run. So one command will do the pull and run as well. But if you see um, different blocks, first they pull the image and then they run. That is also perfectly fine. Now I will try to explain this particular uh, command because this is the main command that we have to run. So I will just paste it here. Okay, so just need to type Docker space run okay but if you want to break down this into two commands first you can pull that image then you can run but this one command will do th both the part hyphen p hyphen p basically port expose so by default jenkins will run on 8080 right but if you want to expose this to different port you can change to different port right now i already have um 8080 occupied in my system so i will go with 8090 so that this should not stop installing Jenkins. So I'm going to expose the port to 8090. Okay. But by default Jenkins run on 8080. So if 8080 is free in your system, you can use the same. 
now next is uh, basically again port okay this is basically for the agents so now if i show you the official documentation okay so as you can see this right hyphen p 50000 colon 50000 so this is basically if you have to configure multiple agents or i will say node so you can see read this section connecting agents where you will be using 50000 for port mapping fine and if you want the detailed information if you come down here you will find a dedicated section here where you can understand how you can configure agents here so as of now i'm not installing or any connecting any agent in my previous videos we have already seen right how you can connect a uh, master with multiple nodes or i will say multiple slave so hyphen p50000 is for basically agents then we have next thing called hyphen v which is for volume so what exactly it says see by default jenkins will run on this particular uh, i will say space okay in the docker container so here you can give the uh, volume to your local system or where you want to have the backup because the moment i stop or remove this i will say jenkins uh, container i will lose the data right so when i say hyphen v so basically i am uh, attaching a volume so all my data will be stored into this particular directory okay so i will do one thing um, this is one of my directory um, so basically in the e drive i will create one jenkins underscore basically you can create any name guys okay it is just you have to provide the same path it could be jenkins underscore home it could be jenkins home it's totally up to you so as of now i will just use the same thing uh, let's say jenkins underscore home and i will be giving this path for the mounting purpose so just remove this part and i will say e drive in the e drive i have jenkins underscore home but if you're using mac or Linux, you can just give the same path and it will just mount this particular directory with this. And finally, this is your main image and this is the tag. So colon the tag name. So we are going with the, um, you know, LTS version. So we'll use this. So I will give you this command in the description. What you can do, you just change the port number. And in case you want to change, uh, you know, the mounting volume, the path, you can change it. So if you don't want to change it, uh, if you don't want to give, that is also fine. So if you see the first command, they have not given any hyphen V. So basically, if you want to give, then only provide hyphen V and the path. So it's highly recommended that you should provide the volume. So I personally will recommend use hyphen V, which is Docker volume, and you give the path. Now let's do the same things. I will just copy this command and just go back here. So before we run this, I will show you what are the images I have in my system. So if I say Docker images, so right now I don't have images in the previous videos. I have cleared everything. So if I just show you Docker PS, okay, I don't have any container which is running. It's completely blank in my case. So I will just give this command and hit enter. So as you can see, first of all, it is trying to find Jenkins in my local system. It is not able to find. Now it is downloading. It will take few seconds. So let's wait. Okay, so as you can see now, uh, it has basically extracted everything and finally we have the same thing that we have seen earlier. It says initial setter setup is required basically an admin user has been created and the password has been generated. Please use the following password. So either you can copy from here or you can copy from this particular location. So basically now I will try to run Jenkins on 8090. Why 8090? Because we have exposed the port 8090. So whatever port you have used, use the same port. I will use 8090. So just type localhost 8090. Hit enter. 
as you can see now it is asking the same administration pass uh, password now one small thing guys right now i'm running on my local system so everything is local host but suppose now you are running the same thing on the server right you are trying to install jenkins on a separate machine or a server then instead of giving local host you have to give the ip address of the remote server where you are running these uh, docker images okay so that will be the ip address of that particular machine or server followed by the port number i already copied so i will simply paste and i will click on continue now as you can see it has again two section use install suggested plugins or go with the specific plugin of your choice i will go with suggested plugins click on this and it will take some time and yes now we have to wait it will take few minutes and yeah once all plugin will be installed we'll continue to the next step So as you can see now, once everything is, is installed successfully, now it is asking you to create your first admin user. So you can see now again, if I say skip and continuous admin, in that case, you can still continue, but I would highly recommend you to create at least first admin user so that you can use the same after um, each login. Uh, let me quickly create one user. So I will use the same which I always do, which is Mukesh underscore 50. I will just give the same details to password and everything. And this I will use here. And I will just use this email. And let me click on save and continue. Okay, it is simply asking, do you want to configure this? As of now, I will say no save and finish it says start using Jenkins and here we go it will take few seconds and you finally Jenkins server is up and running now you can create uh, configure basically and uh, and you can you know create jobs create pipeline and it's totally up to you how do you want to use the Jenkins so as you can see now Jenkins is up and running and we can see the dashboard right now we don't have any job so it's uh, giving us welcome to Jenkins and all other options as usual and uh, since we have done this on 8090 right so if I go back and show you this is exactly what we have done we have changed the port to 8090 we have basically exposed the port then the second part which we did like we have given this volume right like whatever Jenkins job we will be creating or whatever configuration plugins it should be uh, you know mounted at this particular directory so if I go back to my e drive and uh, let me show you just a second e drive and you can see jenkins underscore home is already available so i have all the files folders here okay so let me show you one more part uh, so basically this is the one that we have installed just now and i have another jenkins instance which is running so if you see it is running on 8080 which i have installed using var file and one which you can see here 8090 this is just now we did using uh, docker right so now basically i have two instances so both having the different directories so don't think they are the same it is just i'm running two different jenkins they both have different port number both different working directory so in the upcoming videos i will show you how you can transfer data or import export from one jenkins instance to another jenkins instance again right now since i'm using in my systems i'm giving local host but if you have done the same thing in a different machine or a server you just uh, get the IP address and try to access Jenkins using IP address followed by the port number Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's quickly create a job. I want to show you some interesting part here So I'm going to create a new job right now. We don't have any job. So I will give this as a Demo one. I'm just creating a demo job Okay, and uh, We'll quickly run some basic build section even if I don't give any build section let's save this and uh, let's build now okay just go to this job so as you can see now this job is successfully executed so what is there inside the job right now that's not our intention because we have already seen in our previous videos the one thing which I want to show you the UI changes the previous version which I have which is running is 2.2 uh, basically 77.2 right and the one that we have installed just now is 2.2 8, 9.1 and you can see a slight UI changes 
okay uh, whether it's a job icon or the views or some minor changes you will find you can see this is now new icon for the job this is for the weather and other stuff and this is how the previous looks like you can see this is how you used to look weather part and icon part but it has been changed now so that's a uh, very common right the moment you keep on upgrading the new latest version you will find some minor minor and major ui changes that's part of this build but yeah you will not find major changes uh whether it comes to the configuration part and any other stuff so that's all for today guys uh okay before we end this let's see the demo one that we created right so basically we have created using container right now if i go here since we have um added a volume here so basically that job should be available here see so that job basically um, got copied from our docker container to this particular instance or i will say the space that we have mounted so that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new today if this video helped you in any way please subscribe this channel share with your friends um, give me a like and in case if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye